The grid view allows you to see all the threads and posts within a single space. Please review the tutorial on the differences between the reading and grid view to learn more. This tutorial will show you how each of the grid view settings affects the display for students and faculty. This allows you to customize the view for both the students and you. Please note that the grid view works only via the submission review tab. If students or you access a discussion topic via the course content, the reading view is the default. So to click on submission review tab on the nav bar, click on discussions. I'm going to click on the settings link. Now I've already turned on the grid view by checkbox by clicking it. And then there's a whole slew of grid view settings. So let's talk about each one of those. The first one, topic descriptions. Uh, topic description display in the message list. So I'm going to get out of here and click on a topic. And you'll see that right here, this is the discussion prompt. This is what they're talking about here. So if I decide that I don't want that to be shown, I uncheck topic descriptions display in the message list and click save. And now when I view the topic, that is no longer there. I don't think I don't like that because then if you you think of a student, student wouldn't know what your discussion prompt is. So I'm going to keep that checked. The next setting is default threading style. Threaded means, which is the default style, means when a student or you reply to a thread, the reply will be indented underneath the beginning thread. Each reply will then be indented. And again, that's the default. So let me show you what that looks like. So here is a beginning thread. Here's a reply. Beginning thread, here's a reply. This is threaded. Here's a beginning thread, a reply to the thread, and a reply to the post. And again, as this is done, this is the, the threaded view is called. If I go back to settings, and if I choose to be unthreaded, that means that you'll see all the posts at the same level, and it doesn't, you won't know which ones are replies or which ones are all threads. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And I'll go ahead and click inside of here. And then you'll see it just gives me a list of all the posts. I don't know which ones are replies. I don't know which ones are posts. You can change it up here by going to the view and clicking apply and then seeing it there. So I'm going to go back to settings. I'm going to turn that off for now. And I'm going to go keep it on threaded because I think threaded is the best one display settings. Now you have two choices. One is show the preview pane. What that means is that if you select this, the lower preview pane in the grid view will show it. If this option is not selected, clicking on the post in the grid view will open the post in a pop-up window. So that's the default is that if I go ahead and click inside the topic and then again I click on a post it opens in its own window. If I choose, go back to settings now, and I now go ahead and checkbox show preview pane and click save, I now go into the post here and you're going to notice that no post is here. So this is, I don't know if this is better or worse because it kind of, you have to do a lot of scrolling, um, but if you click on that, the post shows up underneath. And so you can actually follow along right there as you can see which post is now I'm reading and which thread I'm reading. And you can open and then you can actually click on open a new window to go ahead and open it in a new window if you so desire. So that one is really your choice in terms of how you want to view the posts in the grid view. Again, if that's chosen. Show the search bar, that would just simply uh, uh, um, hide or show the search. So if I click save again and I click back on here, this is the search right here. And if I don't want that search there, I can also go to the more actions and hide it there too. Um, again, certainly your choice in how you want to view this. And you'll notice that if I make those choices um, within that, it also affects the overall display. Post fields to display, these two are just really silly 
and are absolutely unnecessary just to show you what they are one is this column here which is just a random number generated in, for the database and the other one is the org defined ID which essentially is who it's authored by so to be quite honest those two items really should not be checked the last thing is character limits um, I can limit the number of characters between 1 and 150 for the subjects to display in the post so if I want to see more information in the post maybe I'll choose 45 I'll click Save just to show you what this looks like and then you can see all the posts here um, so that will be up to 45 characters if a student used something long let's just show you let me just make it a little crazy and make it like two and show you what that does and that will just truncate it as you can see and now I can't even see the posts and what they are so again uh, it's your choice on that one if you keep it unchecked I'm not sure what the default is, but if you keep it unchecked, uh, it won't limit. It'll just be normal, and I can see the posts. So those are all the settings that go on in the grid view and how they affect the view of um, the discussion topic specifically and what you can, uh, how you can customize it.